Welcome to a brand new Let's Play on the channel. We are starting the Max Payne series from Remedy Entertainment, and I'm very excited to be starting this one today. Uh, I've played Control, I have played Alan Wake. Those are my Remedy games that I have experienced. I am highly anticipating Alan Wake 2, and I am aware that Max Payne 1 and 2 is getting a remake from Remedy. It's getting put into one game uh, as a remake, but I want to go back and I want to see the originals, where they came from, as we don't really have any idea when those remakes are coming out, and just something to scratch that Remedy itch uh, before Alan Wake 2 comes out later in the year, and then eventually Control 2 as well. That'll be very, very fun. Max Payne was a Patreon poll game, so thank you to my lovely patrons for voting for this one to drop onto the channel. It's been on the to-do list for quite a little while. It went up against some pretty good contenders. Uh, it was definitely the most active poll that we've had, actually, and the closest poll as well. Three out of four of the options were all within a vote or two of one another. It was a very close game. So Max Payne, Bastion and Devil May Cry were the almost tied for first place. And then Blasphemous unfortunately did not get the passionate support uh, that a lot of people wanted it to get. It fell by the wayside. So uh, we had the majority of the votes going towards Devil May Cry, Bastion and Max Payne. Max Payne winning by a percent. It was close. It was a hair. All of those will make their way onto the channel at one point, but I loved how close the poll was and I was excited for any of them to win. So I get to win either way. <laughs> so we're jumping into Max Payne and we're gonna see what it's all about. So I guess we should jump straight in. Maybe we'll check out the tutorial level to learn about the basic gameplay mechanics. I think that might be a good idea. Um, is there a subtitles option? I don't know. Uh, we've got controls. The tutorial will probably teach us that. Uh, no subtitle settings. Um, every the music is automatically at halfway, which is very interesting. We'll just have to see if the subtitles are maybe automatically included. But there you go, we'll, uh, we'll jump in. We are playing the original Xbox version of the game through Xbox Series X backwards compatibility. Uh, the game is not available for me to purchase on Steam and apparently it's rife with issues on PC anyway. So we're just gonna be playing the uh, original Xbox version of the game through backwards compatibility. Let's jump into the tutorial. Welcome to a short tutorial on how to play Max Payne. Look at that face. A payphone is ringing. Walk over to it. Here we go. Okay. I can't circle around my character, but... Oh my god, I've got the Matrix. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I've got the Matrix. Max will look at interesting items. Now face the payphone and press the use button. Okay. I'm going to be obsessed with that. That's awesome. I've got slow motion diving. <laughs> okay. Use button. Now that you know how to use items, go and use the doors of the van. Got those heavy footsteps. Okay. Oh no, hang on. Ugh. Oh, when you pause, you get a 360 of your character. There you go, look at that. Um, I made that disgusted sound because the controls are inverted and I can't change it. Oh, ah, inverted controls. You can cycle through your weapons with the D-pad. Nice. I have a lead pipe. Now shoot the padlock on the metal door. I'm assuming it's with the right trigger. It do be. Max can shoot dodge by moving and pressing left trigger. That is so cool. Okay. 
it's only inverted up and down. Max can also slow down time by going into bullet time. Press left trigger while standing still. Oh, press left trigger. Return to normal type of pressing left trigger without moving. Oh, I just face planted into a wall. Okay, love it. Bullet time. Remaining bullet time is shown by the hourglass. Does the hourglass refill when you... Oh, okay. My hourglass refills when you interact with phones? Max jumps when X is pressed. Jumping sideways or backwards performs an evasive rolling dodge. Nice. Interacting with payphones gives you time. Got that breathing. You got this, Max. Whoop. Tar Cafe, world's best since 1964. This first thing we do when we get back to the main menu is changing the inverted controls. My lord. Okay, well, I guess I don't need to interact with phones, but I can interact with an enemy dispenser. Interact. It won't let me. I'm heading towards the mobile arrest center. Okay, I'm pretty sure the game would want me to um, dispense enemies, right? That'll be part of the tutorial, but for some reason, when I try to press it, it just says no. Nothing happens. Do I have to do this first? Oh, I have to do that first. Next, you get to try bullet time and shoot dodging in a real gunfight. All right. There we go. You had to interact with the payphone. Oh. Oh. I got him. Oh my god. Um. Ouch. My legs. Oh! Dude, look at that. Backflip. Inverted controls. Ah. Oh god. <laughs> Cinematic. Nice. My legs. Now search the subway entrance for a medicine cabinet. Amazing. Medicine. <laughs> All the painkillers. Press B to eat a couple of painkillers. Ooh. There we go. Nice. Now try searching the back of the nearby van. Searched. Sniper rifle? Oh my god. You found a sniper rifle. Yep. Three more bad guys are coming from the side alley. Alright, tell me how to aim, Doc. Press A to zoom when the sniper rifle is selected. Yeah. Crouching, left thumbstick while in zoom makes your aim more accurate. <laughs> it does like a fucking... Yes! It does a action shot. Can I slow-mo? I can. Inverted controls, fuck you, I was behind a thing. Here he goes. That completes the training. I got him. If you want to try out shooting more, the enemy dispenser is now working again. Alright. And you can still explore the environment as well. Right, if you don't have enough time, you can't do slow motion. Once you're done, press back to return to the main menu. Alright, let's go. I'm done. Alright, new game. That's the tutorial, baby. Pretty cool. Okay, controls, movement. Um, come on, guys. Movement. New bullet time. Invert aiming. There you go. It's in combat. Perfect. Okay. Save game. Go back. New game. Select game level. Fugitive. Hardboiled. Dead on arrival in New York minute. Alright. 
Dead on Arrival and New York Minute will be unlocked when you beat Fugitive or Hard Boiled mode. I guess we will play on Hard Boiled. It's, it's either easy or hard, so we'll play on Hard Boiled. There is no normal. Statue of Litterby. Shots fired on the rooftop. An assault in progress in Acer Plaza. Repeat, an assault in progress. No subtitles, guys, so... They were I all dead. Apologize. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark to everything that had led to this point. I released my finger from the trigger. And then it was over. That facial expression! To make any kind of sense of it, I need to go back three years. Back to the night the pain started. The Max Pain. Part one, the American Dream. Oh, this is funny. I was still on the force back then. NYPD, Manhattan, Midtown North Precinct, Hell's Kitchen. So when are you coming to work for me, Detective Payne? You'd make me work undercover in some hell hole. Sorry, Alex. Michelle and the baby come first. See? My last smoke. It's bad for the baby. That's you, Max. A regular Boy Scout. See, Alex. Still on for poker Thursday night, right? Like taking candy from a baby. Life was good. Sun setting on a sweet summer's day. The smell of freshly mowed lawns. The sounds of children playing. A house across the river on the Jersey side. A beautiful wife and a baby girl. The American dream come true. Honey, I'm home. But dreams have a nasty habit of going bad when you're not looking. The sun went down with practice bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. This is so classically Remedy, in terms of how that is all written. Michelle. So good. Honey, anybody home? Three years ago. The show started. They'd give me the best seat in the house, front row center. I like the sort of like comic book, like graphic novel sort of cutscenes. That's really cool. Read story. Yeah, this is interesting. And then you can go through it. The sun went down with practiced bravado. Twilight crawled across the sky, laden with foreboding. I love that. That's so cool. So you can play it and you can go through everything. Very cool. Okay, so you can catch yourself up on the story. My loved ones were in danger. I had to save them. Okay. Um, yeah, the presentation is cool. No subtitles, so you're just going to have to listen. I know that subtitles really just kind of make it easier during Let's Plays to what hear the what's, hell? what's going on. Something ugly had been tattooed on the wall. A map of things to come. It was a poison syringe, a magic tag full of diabolical meanings. Cool, and then when you investigate things, you get that sort of uh, same graphic novel update. The, if the light has been specifically twisted to cast the on the symbol. My phone is ringing. Listen, someone's broken into my house. Call 911. Is this the pain residence? Yes, someone's broken into my house. They're still here. You have to. God, I'm afraid I cannot help you. Who is this? Hello? Huh. Hello? <laughs> I love him answering the phone being like, call 911, quick. Like, you call 911 right now. Honey? 
Oh, the videotapes. It's so 2000s. I love it. I hear noises upstairs. It's, yeah, like... Michelle! Michelle! Oh, please! oh my god, how many shots do you want to take? I'm gonna hurt you! Why have you broken all the mirrors? Freeze! NYPD, drop it's it! Coming! It's coming! Oh god, he's still alive. Oh my god. Jesus. It's still playing my... the... Oh no. No, no, no please god, no. Oh my god. That's fucking brutal! They actually showed a body of a baby. Oh my god. What the bless your fallen angels. Uh, ah, ah, holy crap. Why are you barefoot? No, 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 God, no, please, Michelle. Oh, baby. Ago, everything ripped apart in the New York minute. The killer junkies had been high on a previously unknown designer drug, Valkyr V. After the funeral, I told Alex I'd be transferring to the DEA. It took us three long years to get a break in the Valkyr case. Then, finally, two months ago, a dime dropper tipped us off that Jack Lupino, a mob boss in the Punchinello crime family, was trafficking. I went undercover infiltrated the worst mafia family in New York. Ooh, undercover in a mafia family. I came in from the cold and the dark. Outside the city was a cruel monster. I've been slowly working my way from the small time to the big fish, trying to get to the source of the drug. Alex and BB were my only contacts in the DEA, the only ones in this decrepit city who knew I was down here. BB here. Something urgent has come up with Jack Lupino. You need to meet with Alex immediately at the Roscoe Street Station. I hadn't had a face-to-face -face with Alex since I'd gone undercover. Outside, the mercury was falling fast. It was colder than the devil's heart, raining ice pitchforks as if the heavens were ready to fall. Everyone was running for shelter like there was no tomorrow. It didn't get any better when I got to the subway. The feeling hit me like a point-blank shot straight in the face. Something was not right about this. My beret stirred nervously under my coat, but the train doors had already shut behind me and I was in for the ride. Next stop, Roscoe Street Station, and Alex. The station was drenched in gloom. Alex was a ghost, nowhere to be seen. I'd have to look for him. Auto saving, nice. Um, the, the voice sometimes is a little bit quieter than the sound effects, so unfortunately we're gonna have to deal with that. I'm having trouble. This is why I love subtitles because it helps me hear better. You know, uh, when I can hear the train noises over him talking, it's kind of like hard for me to focus. But we'll have to make do. I really like this cinematic presentation so far. A fucking dark beginning. Like that woman got like robocopped shot to pieces from a distance like obviously her body did not look anywhere near as bad as all of those gunshots made it out to be but my lord and the baby in the crib that's ridiculous um this is cool i i really like the presentation of uh just how like it's like gritty noir stuff but not black and white um it sounds like the narrator's voice of the a graphic novel scene sounds like Keith Sutherland. Like it does, but I don't know if it is, but that's cool if it is. But it has that same cadence. Easier, bit closer to heaven. But immediately, if you've played an Alan Wake game before, 
Hey, look, it's the syringe with the V again. That was on my uh, fucking uh, wall. Um, oh, man. That is a silent fucking train. <laughs> if I wasn't looking when I walked off the edge, I'm gone. That's a stealth train. Roscoe Street in the Bronx. I will say um, that as if you've played an Alan Wake, uh, Alan Wake or Control or a Remedy game before and you play this, you're like, okay, this is so perfectly... Remedy. Oh god. This is so perfectly Remedy. Like, the way that it just has, like, that edgy... Not, like, bad edgy, but, like, just edgy, gritty narration to it is really cool. It immediately sets the stage and has a great tone to it. The gate was locked. Alex wouldn't have set up a meeting at a closed station. Something was off. Yes, the voice of Max Payne sounds like... Uh, Keith or Sutherland to me. And then it's the vo the face of Sam Lake, I believe his name is. God damn. Death was in the air at Roscoe Street. I'd have to find Alex fast. Death was in the air. Um, and I believe it's not the same guy. I think it's Alex Casey is the name of the character in... Uh, Alan Wake that has Sam Lake's face but it's not Max Payne <laughs> I think Max Payne if I remember Alan Wake right Max Payne is like a fictional writing of uh, Alan's it's like on a bookshelf or something wasn't Jake supposed to take care of this he and Mickey are having too much damn he and Mickey are having too much damn Desert Eagle, all right. Nice. Desert Eagle and a Beretta. I got, you can have multiple pistols. And everyone's just shooting. I need some painkillers, boy. Holy shit. The voice of the angels, quiet communications. Kong whiskey makes you go ape. I fucking love video game ads, man. They make me so happy because they're so stupid. Graphic design in video games and like false advertisements, it just, it always makes me so happy. There's two heavenly related ads so far. We got the AC01 and the Voice of the Angels. And people are just getting shot. Have you seen this missing person? They're probably developers who worked on the game. We're getting around. You hear me? What Why is this a joke? Hey! Anybody? Answer me! Oh, I thought he said answer me. I thought he was saying, it's a me! <laughs> ah! Ah! I'll answer you with a bullet. Okay. I'm being uh being punished on, on hard mode right now. I'm almost dead and I got no painkillers. I need some meds. Or I need to just make better use of uh, bullet time. Dude, okay, these trains are too stealthy. Hey, yeah. Oh. oh. How do I reload? Maybe I just have to let it happen. The American dream. The security panel let out a mocking cackle. I'd need the right code. A mocking cackle. God, the writing is so good. I love it. No way. Come on. Come on. Oh! oh I love how they go flying. Oh, shit. Alex, they had ended up in the middle of a big-time crime operation. Oh. Train's out of service. I'm almost dead. <laughs> Inspection car. The power to the rail had been cut. 
I'd have to get it back on to get the train moving. All right, let's go and find some uh, uh, reload with Y. There you go. Oh God! Oh. <laughs> Shoot first, ask questions later. <gasps> There's painkillers in there. Ah, oh, okay. You're alive. Why is it locking onto him? You saved me, man. What's going on here? A massacre. These armed thugs just appeared from nowhere. We need to get help. I can make the call from the control room one floor up. Can you take me there? Sure. Sounds good. Follow me. We gotta get moving, please! Oh shit. Oh, I can open fucking cabinets. Okay. I gotta take this man upstairs. Ah. Oh. Alright, I can open everything. Hold on. I gotta go and investigate upstairs. Right. Stick behind me, man. Escort mission. I find it really interesting that it like locks on to him. Like, I'm like, hello? I don't want to shoot you, but the game is like locking on to you. Is it this door? Yes, control room. Home free. This way. Oh no! Ah! Oh no! Bullet time. Open the fucking door. Oh, okay. Hello? Oh, I've gone the wrong way. I meant to go this way. Oh, no. Okay. Fuck. I'm trying to make this dramatic. All right, ready? No. Where the fuck are you? He was right there. No way. Hello? Oh, and here I was trying to like have a dramatic entrance. Okay. Oh god. Is he in here? Trying to check my corners. Oh god. I love that there's like, when his eyes are closed, when you shoot him. God damn. They really hold out in here. There's not enough painkillers in this joint. Everything's shut. Oh. What am I looking at? Aha, maintenance work. And two, that train car is going to be active now. Aha. Lovely. Really need to use all my painkillers as soon as I get them. Nice. It's powered up, baby. Right, I'm going to quick save now that I'm actually, like, not on the verge of death. <gasps> I've got jewel berettas. Oh, shit. Wait, I mean to do that. I've got jewel berettas. There we go. I'm like waiting for my berettas to actually be equipped. Right, let's have a look in here first. Never mind. Let's go into the train car. The train lit up like a Christmas tree. Power was back on. Lit up like a Christmas tree. I'm in, baby. Let's drive this train. So much for being subtle. Ouch, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. wanted to okay I was just moving it out of the way gotcha I was just moving it out of the way oh it's the, that camera okay 
Maybe not. Like maybe I'm moving the train car out of the way so I can go that way, but that looks not right. Let's get back in the car. Oh, this is also a door. Gotcha. This way. Oh God. Right, this is not a good idea. They take a lot of bullets. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be Max Payne and the constant hunt for uh, health. I'd be, I'd be dying. I'm bad at bullet time. Chapter two. The rusty door led to an abandoned part of the station, closed off since the early '40s. Something big was going down in Roscoe Street. Maybe that's why Alex had wanted to meet me here. Maybe not. One way or the other, I was going to find out. One way or the other, I was going to find out. Okay, um... Apparently... We are in... We are in chapter two now? I needed to find Alex. It's dark in here. I ain't able to see shite. Is there a... There's not a... There unfortunately isn't a... Um... A brightness. There's no visual settings. There's no... Brightness settings. Right. right. I... People everywhere, none of them friendly. What the hell? Oh, he, <laughs> he's backwards roll! Dude, this is just so, like, it's just good action, isn't it? Oh, okay. Uh, where are you? I can't see. Okay, he's just running away. I'm just wasting my fucking. Cinematic kills in the dark. I can they see shit? Let me get the old shotgun out. I'm in the sewers and I can't see shit. Them sloshy footsteps. So it's like the failure count is rising. Yeah, I wouldn't joke about it if I was you. I'm trying to listen to voices. Yeah. The station's not secured. Someone decided to play hero upstairs. That's all we need. This is how you can hear dialogue without having sloshy footsteps. You gotta do this. What was that? It's nothing. Relax. Is nothing. Relax. God <laughs> damn. It's so corny. I love it. How am I? I'm not even going to get close to someone for a lead pipe, honestly. Um, do we want to go up here or do we want to go down there? Oh, can I adjust the aiming sensitivity as well? Uh, movement. Combat. Speed. Speed. I think it's just like the game resists doing a... Look at how slow it is when you want to like do both at the same time, like a diagonal movement, the game like slows to a fucking crawl. I don't know if there's much I can do about that. Oh, 
when you're trying to traverse the sewers by making as little footstep noise as possible because it's awful. I much prefer this to wet sloshy footstep noise. Oh, a bomb's gone off in New York City. What the hell was that? I'm assuming that the voice dialogue is tied to the sound effects volume as well. So if I lower the sound effects volume, I'm like shooting myself in the foot, so. Live from the crime scene. All done here. Give me the detonator. Got him down. All done here. Oh God, everyone is very alert. And that makes sense because they're all very suspicious of what's going on. I suppose. What am I interacting with this? The door oh. been well shut in. Oh. Sorry, the door to the what is what? I couldn't hear you, sir. It's got explosives on it, though. And all these rats. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're gonna be here soon. So stick to the plan. We've got our own private exit route. In and out, do your thing. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. What about this? Oh my god. Why can't I just No! Oh. Okay. I'm trying my best. Oh. Oh, no. I died. Oh, look at the pain on my face. <laughs> Sam Lake, no. We gave it a good, uh, we gave it a good run. Done here. Give me the detonator. What are you talking about? All right, now I can listen. Wait, there's still people. No, there isn't? Okay. The door had been welded shut ages ago and the bomb was missing a detonator. The bomb was missing the detonator. Okay. Oh! They didn't come up this time. As there needs to be more health, I'm in trouble. The police are on their way. New York's. I'm the police. In this joint. Oh, I'm reloading here. Both of them! Absolutely. Bonkers. Coco bananas. Oh god, hello. Oh, look at this accuracy. He knows how to shoot a gun. He knows how to shoot a gun. Look at how he shoots. Anybody got any painkillers? I'm limping. <gasps> yes. I'm holding on for dear life here, Doc. from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. Nice. <laughs> okay. C is open. The bank robber score lay on the table. What a score. The bank robbers have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. Okay. Guess we try the next one. The bank robbers had 
left their tools on the table. Detonator. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Lady Liberty, no! Alright, I got it. Now we make our way back. again they have the high ground this is impossible <laughs> Fuck. all right let's try again ready yeah. right up the staircase shoot you in the face there we go sometimes you just need to be a bit more aggressive <laughs> all right let's blow this joint go on um do i yeah. Do that. Slow motion, boom. Hold it. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, am I glad to see you? What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery, a tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why? This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Alex? Alex! We're losing everyone close to us, dude. There was no. nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty accusing stare of his eyes. <laughs> the fucking like sad piano and like the, the empty accusing stare of his eyes and then it just cuts off. <laughs> God damn. Ah, yes. Guys, I successfully found painkillers without needing to use all of them. Oh shit. Never mind. Never mind. Killed. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Let's use them. Oh, I got a sword off shotgun as well. Nice. All right. Quick save. Alex, no. All right, so we've lost my wife, my baby, and now Alex. And every time I'll do a dramatic, no. Oh. Let's get the hell out of here. It's the cops. Oh. We've been busted. Oh my God, he's throwing a fucking grenade at me. Oh, dude, we're getting loaded with painkillers. Let's go. Oh. oh. I'm loaded with drugs. Thank you. Oh, do I need this? Yes. Exit gate control. Look at that. Um, yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of like watching, oh look at those, look at that ammo. Yes, I don't think I'm ever going to get tired of uh, watching bodies just actually get launched into the air. Very satisfying. <laughs> Alright, let's exit out to Roscoe Street. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Chapter three. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors. 
cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. You make that up yourselves, you get some wine up downstairs to come up with it. Pain to the max. Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan? The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. <laughs> Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. Bruh. <laughs> the door slammed shut behind me, and then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Huh? Pain in the butt. Ha <laughs> ha! Pain to the max! He said pain to the max again! Oh my god. I can keep spraying him. Oh my god. Jesus! A letter on the desk caught my eye. Okay. It's one of those uh, rhetorical questions. <laughs> All fucking gas, no breaks on this story though, right? You like leave and then it's like bah, right into the next area. Jesus. I, I love the the dreary, depressing sort of attitude that's going on here in these graphic novel cutscenes, but then you also just have like the the photo like facial expressions like <laughs> and the comical accents. Oh just uh mwah. Joey, Joey, uh, Tell him to come quick. Go to the others. We gotta go in now. Pain to the max. We're coming in. Oh. This is what you're coming in for. Bullets in your face. How was that? Nice. When you've got a crap load of ammo. You can afford to uh, spray and pay. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right hand man, Vinny Gagnidi. Gagnidi was a high strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. He had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short, taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words, quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one, unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Anything goes wrong and everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up or you're finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Sosa. A spook story told to keep the apes in line. 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Kaiser Soze. Nice, okay. Nice, I threw the darts. That's amazing. And they, the darts actually go from the table into there during the cutscene. That's pretty neat. Open everything. Have a look at everything. Oh, yeah, I can even open these drawers. Ah, uh, got a gun. Nice. Can I open these? I can. Look at that. Look at that atmosphere. Look at them neon signs and the snow, baby. Alright, I'm I'm losing me painkillers already. Getting out was not gonna be easy. The staircase was locked and the elevator had been busted for a decade or more. PD, huh? Every mirror has been like punched out in this game. Someone really fucking hates mirrors. Oh, what the fuck? Ah. <laughs> I got a vibrating bed. Oh, oh! Yeah, the holes, the, the mirror on 
the ceiling for the sex routine. Except the mirror's fucking busted. Can't read that. In his press conference today, the mayor stated that Valkyr represents a clear danger to New York and called for drastic actions to eliminate the problem. On today's top story, the Valkyr crisis worsens with the murder of DEA Special Agent Alex Balder. Special Agent Balder had been shot repeatedly from a point-blank range. The gunman has been identified as Max Payne. The noose is sure to tighten around this fugitive criminal, as more NYPD units join the search to apprehend him. I had just gotten my 15 minutes of fame. Damn, I've been framed. Pain to the max. That is unfortunate. <laughs> ah, my favorite channel. Static. Nice. Check every drawer and eventually one will open and there'll be a gun. Oh shit. I'm so powerful, I can just walk through it. All right, hold on. All right, that's where we're going. I'm just w walking through. Yeah, something's wrong with the bosses. Pain's there and they're not answering. Let's go already. Pain's gonna pay in spades. I'm hiding stealth through this. Then they run in through that window. It's really interesting. Are those explosive? There you go. Playing at Bogart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's one way of opening the door. I'm just so strong, I'd just be walking through glass and walking through doors. Okay. Hey! Oh! Ah! Ah! Oh, this one doesn't have the ceiling mirror. You cheaped out, bucko. You gotta get the- oh. Nice. You gotta get the fucking mirror on the ceiling. There was actually a gun under the bed. Okay, so 313. Previously on Lords and Ladies. Lady Amelia, Marquis uh -huh. Valentine asks for an audience. Thank you, Lawrence. My lady. My lord. And now, an all new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Acer Corporation. <laughs> My lady. My lord. My lady, there is a matter of great importance I must bring to your attention. All day. My lord. No! I was watching that. There has been sunlight in the autumn leaves blazing like the colors of the Oh, God, they survive lord, so much. Not speak so. But my lady, I must, I must. My lord, no, I forbid you. This cannot be, this must not be. But why, my love, why? My, my lord, lord and ladies. It is too dreadful. Do not force me to speak the words. My lady, I beg of you, I must know. I would rather die than not know. Yes, my lord, we should both be dead, for this shame is too great for the living. My lord, I am... My lord, I am your long-lost sister. <gasps> You can destroy TVs. You can destroy vending machines. What can you destroy in this place? Amazing. Fascinating. Hello? Who's in here? Oh, hello. There ain't no syringes on my watch. I'm putting an end to the drugs in New York. Oh, this one doesn't move. Ah, oh, they got the cuck chair. You gotta have the cuck chair. Open up! to switch to a gun. Hello?
V-head junkies could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Get away. Get away. Get away. I don't know. I don't know. Get away. Get away. Get away. It's coming. It's coming. I think I died. I think I'm dead. I'm, I'm gonna die. I... Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What? Hey, who's this? It's coming. It's coming. In flush toilets. Five, 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 pussy. Hello? You're gonna die. It's coming. It's coming. Get away. Get away. God, that's fucking creepy. It's coming. It's coming. Get away. Get away. Get away. What? Okay, I'm out of here. Jesus. There he oh, is. Jesus. Fuck. Whack this sucker. Ah! Whack this sucker. I'll be activating all the beds. Oh! I gotta say, these these fellas, they are resistant to bullets. Oh, I went to turn on the TV and it boosted. Like these guys are heavily resistant to bullets in their face. You must activate every bed short out the power <laughs> and say like, every bed's you being used at once what did I tell you about using the fucking beds at the same time you can get cans I got a bag of chips oh man I miss the world where like everything was like interactive do you, don't you just miss this era of video games where it was just like you can actually fucking interact with the in, with the stuff, you know? Everything's just there for set dressing now. This was great. I love this stuff. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you can actually interact with the fucking vending machine. One hell of a beer for three dollars. Uh, yeah. Who's in here? This is boring, you got nothing on the walls. No TV, no Piece nothing. Of crap! <laughs> Be careful! It might kick there! Oh. How's that? Oh! oh, oh. Ah. Jesus. <laughs> Piece of crap. Does it still work? Damn, it doesn't work. They we're right. This is a piece of crap. The city's fight against the nightmare drug Valkyr took a turn for the worse as DEA Special Agent Alex Balder was found brutally slain at the Roscoe Street subway station. A suspect was seen leaving the site only moments after the shots had been fired, and the NYPD is currently in pursuit of Max Payne, a repeated felon believed to be armed and extremely dangerous. And now the weather. The worst winter storm in recorded history continues to pound. Get that shit off. I've been framed. Nice. Thought there was something else. Oh, oh, oh! This man had a hell of a time. This party had been dead for a while. I couldn't <laughs> say I was sorry I missed the show. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, man. I'll keep you going. In heaven. We'll keep you bouncing, buddy. Yeah. All these bricked up doorways. user okay so we're in part one the american dream but then there's like chapter three so there's like more uh, chapters and parts to like break apart the story i suppose oh. Oh, stop no i've been ambushed you are so resilient oh my god 
god. I just love that I can keep firing bullets and all of them miss. I need to go back to the Dublaze. Oh, I got a Molotov cocktail. Oh, and I got a grenade. I found Morte's room. Oh, the shotgun on a trap. I think I just narrowly avoided my guts uh, being destroyed there. Jesus. Morte had received a letter. Just narrowly avoided the gut destruction. Look at that. Case number. Our investigation had turned up nothing to link Angelo Punchinello, the head of the Punchinello family, to Valkyr. All tracks had ended with Jack Lupino. The letter in Muerte's room was signed by the Don himself. It was the first hint that the Kingpin knew what was brewing inside his syndicate. The trouble you got into after the Chicago screw-up. The Punchinello family bailed you out. You have been waiting for a chance to pay us back. One of our trusted boys has a monkey the size of King Kong on his back. We need your special skills for backup on a major deal. Collecting evidence had gotten old a few hundred bullets back. I was already so far past the point of no return, I couldn't even remember what it looked like when I had passed it. <laughs> All right, Chief. What's in the case? Hey, a shotgun. I'm full of that. Hey, yeah. Oh. oh, I just suffered so much damage. God damn, I got distracted by the guy. been stabbed in the back. I didn't want to know what had happened here. It was not a pretty sight. Buff? Buff. Stabbed in the back with it. You got staked? He's not a vampire? Oh, look at these. Okay. They really want us to use these. You really want me to use it? I'll use it. Oh, dude. Hidden painkillers. Um, am I going this way? Nope. Alright, where am I th where am I throwing these? Ah, oh, quick, throw them at the police vehicle. Alright, am I going back? Where am I going? Uh, objective. I had to escape from the hotel. Is there an escape from here? Is there a ladder? Where's the fire escape? Do I use the Molotov on this? Can I burn that away? Nope, that is not what we do, okay? Um, jump to our death. Yeah, I gotta find where else I'm going. That's oh, Get him. Yeah. got him. Oh, holy shit, it activated the fire extinguisher as well. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh god, it's burned them alive. That's brutal. We're very full of ammo, so I, I feel like I can be very liberal with it. Uh, 
Okay. What the hell? <laughs> what oh, the? Yeah. What God the hell? Damn! I thought it was a bomb for sure. Ah, the Russian would. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I pumped you full of land. The survivability of these gentlemen. out of here. And it ain't that way. The hooker had left her diary on the table. <gasps> Secret fucking room. The diary belonged to a hooker named Candy Dawn. The read would have made a vice cop blush. Had talks with the mystery hag over the phone again. Sent to the latest one-eyed Alfred tape. As long as the hag keeps paying for the tapes, the old man could come every day for all I care. She had a nice sideline, making secret X-rated flicks of her clients and selling them to the highest bidder. They would get her killed if her V-fix for the day didn't do it first. Secret room. Uh -huh. Spicy. Look at all the videotapes. Oh, now I can open that. What the hell? Jesus. Jesus. Tim, go get him. No way, you go get him. <laughs> Tim, go get him. No way, you go get him. I'll get you, bro. Oh god, there's so many. Ah! <laughs> How about I get all of you? Nice. Chapter 4 of the Blood Veins of New York. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. The rat on the elevator. did well. You performed admirably. Another news report? A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now with no end in sight. We've been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Nice. They blow up and then like the explosion, the explosion sends it off in that direction as well. Holy crap. <laughs> I love that. Physics. Hold it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey! Exhibit number one, the newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. <laughs> 
Baseball bat boy comic strip. I got a baseball bat. Okay. Amazing. Oh, you can. Yep. Confirmed. Just in case you were curious. Anyone in here? Anyone in here want to get what? Why are they always set in LA or Mexico? You can't even get a tan. If I hey, yeah. This is not working out very well for me. Okay, you like kill him real quick, but like that is a uh, huge risk. No reward. Hey Doc, I'm feeling a little bit sickly over here. You got any painkillers I can take in? Oh, not feeling, yes. Not feeling so good. Trust me, you don't want to piss me where they are. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Cheers at green eyed angels. Amen. Hello? Knock knock. It is hard to aim in bullet time. You have just been bullet timed. Fellas, a ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics. It was dirty money. It was dirty money. Oh, the what transparent is that? cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. It's the There's drug a key on the table. It's a comically large key. Look at the bar key. Comically large um, key on the table. Molotov cocktail, ready to burn some boys. Painkillers from the legs. Quick save after every gunfight. Real men drink Casey. Okay, restaurant. Bar. Oh. <gasps> yes, load me up. Butter cup. Not disturb. Fellas, I'm about to disturb. I'm down with the sickness. Two mad dog killers ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now nah, they're gonna do it. <clears throat> but no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with the Kung Fu fighting video game. I tell you, kid. I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game case. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I uh, am, yes. ain't I? Mm, mm. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. And I'm gonna, uh... Oh. I love that I equipped the Molotov. Oh no, she's shooting me too, she can burn. I was like, oh no. But now I'm just like, now I'm not so sure. All right, guys, huddle up. The knife? Oh, no, that's not a knife. Uh, yeah. Oh, the triple. All right, lady, I've killed your boyfriend and his pals. Do you still want to do this? You want to calm down so we can talk about it? Or are we doing this? Ugh. Oh, she just took one to the chest. She's tough. Three blasts of the shotgun would do the trick, huh? Yeah, damn. All right. This story just, it's got no breaks. It just keeps going. And it goes into the different chapters and the parts really quick as well. So I haven't really found a natural ending point for like an episode yet. Cause I'm just like, we're just zooming through. Uh, and this story is gripping. I'm having a great time. The gameplay is fun. The story is engaging. I'm really intrigued to see where it will go. I love the mechanics that we're being presented with as well. It's just a fun little gritty adventure.
you know, I'm having a great time. But we are going to bring this first episode of Max Payne to a close. I think I'll choose here to do it. And then we'll continue on next time through the rest of the story. So I guess there's going to be multiple parts in the story and then multiple chapters within those parts. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's around the corner. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for today's episode of Max Payne. And I will see you next time.